Alright, hi there guys, the time is 6 o'clock on a Friday evening, that means it is time for the Dirtbox TV news. So first up this week, perhaps the most kind of exciting news just came this morning, it just broke this morning actually, and it's the fact that Guthrie Govan has left Sir Guitars. Uh, John Sir confirmed over at the gear page that uh, Guthrie Govan is no longer an endorsee of Sir Guitars. The reasons for this are so far not clear, but he has gone to work now with Charvel Guitars, which are owned by Fender. He was spotted last night at a gig in South England using a Charvel guitar, but apparently still using Sir Amps, so I'm not quite sure on the full story there. More news as it comes regarding that, but Guthrie Govan is no longer working with Sir Guitars. Second up, and news that came earlier in the week, is that finally Bogner have released some high quality videos of one of their new guitar effects pedals. It is a demo of the much anticipated Bogner Ecstasy Blue Channel pedal, and this pedal emulates, and quite well it seems, the Blue Channel of the Bogner Ecstasy, one of their most famous popular amps, arguably the amp that really put Bogner on the map. Check out that video here in the link, and I'm pretty sure after hearing it and seeing the video, you'll really want one as well. On to what we've been doing at Dirtbox. Earlier on in the week, Woody added some more of the Earthquaker Devices pedals into the database. Look awesome, and there's plenty more of them to come as well later in the week. Over the weekend, we'll also be uploading our first kind of tech video, which explains a little bit about serial and parallel effects loops, when you would use an effects loop anyway, the differences between the two, etc, etc. It's like a kind of little webinar, a voiceover with a diagram. Check it out, we'll be putting that up over the weekend. Also on GearSpot this week, we, uh, we found a picture, um, thanks to Mason at Vertex Effects Systems, of John Shanks's new pedal board. And it's an absolute beast. Check it out, there's some great stuff on there. And it's a pretty huge board. Uh, I'm told he uses this when travelling between LA and New York, I believe, doing different sessions and studio work. So check it out, monster board. And as for guess the pedal board, all of those who said Joe Bonamassa last week, you are exactly correct. Pretty easy one, the kind of signature fuzz face and war pedal really gives that one away. Nice easy one. But what about this week's? A little bit tougher and it's also a dated picture. So um, yeah, let me know who you think this pedal board belongs to. As of next week, we're going to be running a new feature on DBTV News where we're going to give you the chance to showcase your pedal board on Dirtbox TV News. All you've got to do is send a picture and a quick description of your pedal board to dirtbox at dirtbox.net and yeah, get those pictures sent in and each week we'll put a different one up, show the whole world your pedal board through Dirtbox TV News. Okay, so that's about it for this week, guys. Again, not a lot happening, but we are expecting more on the run-up to Christmas, so keep tuning in every Friday night at 6 p.m. Post below what you think's happening with Guthrie Govan moving over to Charvel. I have my own um, theories on that, as I'm sure you all do, and I'd love to hear them and, and discuss them. So until next week, guys, take it easy. This has been Adam for Dirtbox TV News. <laughs> <laughs>